Hi class, this is a starch auger hydrolysis. So it's looking for bacteria that have an enzyme um, that can degrade uh, amylase, which is the component of starch. And so if it has it, we'll be able to see the release of sugar. And so we'll, we'll do a, a, a snake of a line down the, the auger and then we grow it for 24, 48 hours, and then we flood it with Graham's iodine for 30 seconds, and then we, we pour off the iodine, and any, any uh, uh, snake line that has a clear zone or a lighter zone around the bacteria means that the amylase um, enzyme has been released into the auger, diffuses out, breaks down the starch into glucose, and um, that is the positive test. So we'll show the results next time, but this is how we're gonna go about it. So we're, we're gonna flame our loop um, like this with the incinerator, and then we go in, this is sample number one, E. coli go into a pure culture. And then we're just gonna take it and we're just drag it across in a snake motion or just a straight line. Okay, and that's it. And then next time we'll be able to see the results when we flood it with iodine. All right, so I'll, I'll inoculate the rest of them plus our 841B Bravo uh, for the unknown. And we'll just look at the results next time. Okay, um, the one thing I wanted to point out about this is that when we inoculate the plates and then we're ready to put them in the incubator, you have to put them upside down. So I'm kind of wondering if this was mentioned earlier in the course, but it is important to put them upside down so the, the lid is on the bottom so that uh, when you heat them up, they release moisture and then uh, this prevents the droplets that would form on the lid from falling down. They get too big and heavy and then they fall down on your your plate and then they spread them all over the place. So upside down anytime you're going to incubate them. If you're putting liquid on it, you have to wait a little bit, maybe uh, you know a minute or so before you flip them over. But because uh, the the liquid will absorb into the auger. But this is a, a really important uh, rule that you need to follow. Put them upside down in incubators like this. All right, uh, that's it for this one. I'll finish up the rest now.